What's going on everybody and welcome back for a new video. This right here is going to be our new collection which is of course Efficiency Fusion or some people call it Power Fusion all depending on how you look at it. But this is pretty much what we are uh, what we're going to release. I'm going to do the series up to 255. So just uh, hold tight and uh, follow along here. So if you don't really know what Power Fusion is uh, or Efficiency Fusion you can follow along right now. So I'm also thinking of doing a little bit like how to do different stuff on the cannon when you guys comment. So please comment down below if you don't know how to do stuff. At the moment we can shoot 22 chunks with the amount of power right we have right here. And of course, if we could have, you could have used less power. Um, if you if you used um, more ticks on the hammer. So instead of three ticks on the hammer, you could you could have used four ticks on the hammer, and you would be able to go way further than 22 chunks. You wouldn't even need this amount of power to shoot 20 chunks. Um, but because I'm thinking, whenever there is obsidian filters or obsidian patches, which is highly likely that that's what's going to to be then you don't want your scatter to fuck up you don't want to end up having your uh, shot to dip one block so the scatter can't grab that last obsidian uh, so it's going to make a clip so what i did was add a little bit more power um, and to be exact let's go ahead and count the power we have count the dispenser we have 156 now uh, remind yourself that um this one here is double pulsing the power. Well, it's not really double pulsing, but each size of this right here has a different um, uh, different ticks than the other one. Meaning that you see this one here that has less ticks than this one over here. This one here pretty much controls, if you put up the sandstone right here and put up some TNT. So this one pretty much controls the sand. And it also controls the slap bust, because that's what you want at the wall. That's what you want it to dip a little bit before your hammer comes in. And over here, uh, at your hammer, this is the hammer side, you basically have your hammer and your scatter. So what happens is that this one right here shoots first at the wall. And that will, uh, if you imagine that this right here is the wall, then it's going to, whenever this, this side here shoots it off, it's going to leave sand. And it's going to leave slap bust in, uh, at the wall. And then two ticks after, you'll see right here, this is the other power, other side of the power, that it comes in with the hammer and comes in with the scatter as well and then it stacks it down, it slap bosses and all that uh, all that. so that's pretty much how that works I'm pretty sure most of you guys knew that but um, parallel fusion is a lot different or efficiency fusion a lot different than other fusions and um, I'm gonna come into that in a, in a second here uh, but pretty much you can shoot 22 chunks with the amount of power I've, I've put into it, 156 uh, after 22 chunks, your hammer will blow up a little a little bit further away from the wall, meaning you will have to put one tick more on the hammer, and you'll be able to go 27, 28 chunks. I just don't want to put too much power on it, since you really don't need it to shoot the entire buffer, and you can shoot 22 chunks, so it shouldn't really be a problem to get in. And this is a problem I see on my cannons all the time, that people are going to, to build the cannon too far away from the end of their base, and that's going to fuck up like halfway because it didn't add the amount of power, and then they're going to complain about it. Uh, so it's very important that you understand that after 22 chunks, you need to add a tick on your hammer, or else it's really not going to go further than that. Now, getting into Parallel Fusion, Parallel Fusion works uh, in a way that you will have everything in one block. Um, so if you take a close look right here, You'll see that everything goes into one block, and it's better to show you over here. So this right here is a parallel fusion way. So let's go ahead and get up some sandstone right here, and I'm going to get up some TNT. This right here is the power, which comes from this right here. It's getting boosted by that one over there. So that just imagine that that is there as well. So then it boosts everything to over here. So that's the power. Then right here, we have our scatter coming in from right here. Um, and also we have our... Um, hammer coming in as well. Those two things are getting pushed by those boosters up there all the way over to this block right there. Then our wet sand is getting pushed out and pushed in to that block, uh, that piston right there. Uh, so you both have to scatter hammer and wet sand into that block right there. After that, we have our normal sand which is coming right above this right here. It's pretty much going to flow, um, it's pretty much going to come in from right there. So you can, as you can see, we have everything pretty much um, in the same block as um, 
as each other. So you're probably wondering where the slap boss is, and the slap boss is coming actually from above. So you can see this little redstone contraption right here. That's pretty much the hammer that closes off the, the slap boss. I don't know if I like that idea. Like, let me know if you guys want me to change it. Um, but I tried the best I could. The, let's have the slap boss up there. So I tried the best I could to, to make it seem like a completely normal cannon. Um, a lot of people make power fusions, and I really don't like the way they do it, so I thought, why well, that has to be a different way. So what they, what they normally did is that they added the slap boss in here, into the sand comp, and therefore creating this uh, slap boss effect, because it's, it's with the sand and under the same power or something. You don't have to worry about that. But that's what I've seen. I've seen people use slap boss right here. And then have TNT right here that pushes the slap boss in. I've seen people have it close to the, the pistons right here, have them right here, have some slap boss coming in. And you, it's just very, very, I, I don't really like it because, first of all, if you have the slap boss right here, if you don't have enough power into your, or if you don't have enough TNT or something like that, you're gonna blow the cannon up since the, the, the slap boss is gonna like blow up like a tunnel effect thing. And just blow up some random place that you wouldn't really be able to water. So like like right here for an example. So I don't like that. I kind of like it open like this. So what I did is that I um, made everything go into one block. And it looks like uh, well a completely normal cannon. Uh, there's no really difference um, from this one to the one you probably have seen in other videos. It's just that this one right here is a lot more compact in a way. Uh, so everything goes to the exact same places. So um, if you see, if you look at a normal cannon, this kind of you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference but before you get close up. Um, so this is my design of uh, parallel fusion. I don't like having a slap boss at the same compression. I don't like it have it in the middle right here or whatever. I kind of like it have it like this. This is this is good for me. So that's what I'm going to release. But as you can see, everything here ends up in one block. So you see this sand right here, or the red sand, and this hammer and scatter. It's getting pushed out, so that's going to land right there. That's going to have the red sand next to it as well. So that's going to come right... Oh, gosh dang it. Uh, let's put red sand. Uh, let's do it like that, that's fine. So the red sand is coming right there. Then we have our sand. That sand is going to dip before it actually shoots, uh, shoots it out. Because if you want parallel fusion, you have to do it as close to the power as possible. So what I did was that I made sure that the sand is going to flow here. And it's going to be stopped by the glass. And it's going to fall. And just before it hits the trapdoor, that is where it blows up. So that's that's pretty important as well to know that it's going to blow up very close to um, to the power. Uh, probably closer than the hammer as well. Then we have a slap boss. Yeah, that's just going to fall down. Uh, that's just going to fall down into this block uh, right here. So inside this TNT, we have everything we need. We have a slap boss, we have a red sand, we have a scatter, we have a hammer, we have our normal sand as well. So we have all the things we need to go through a wall. Uh, that is getting pretty much fired from here. But of course, at different timings, since we need the sand and the slap boss at the wall first. And so that's also a little important to understand that. But uh, what benefits does this give you? It gives you the benefits that everything right here is going to have the max velocity it can get. Meaning that you're going to be able to shoot way further with a power of fusion. Right here, you're using 156 um, TNT to shoot 22 chunks, which is pretty decent. Um, while this one over here is a little bit different, because then you will have your. Let me pick up some sandstone again right here. Uh, so here is the power. Then you're going to have your slap boss going out here. You're going to have your sand going out right here. You're going to have your sand, uh, sorry, scatter and hammer right there. So I can see it's a big difference if you look at it from over there. Instead of everything close right here, you're pretty much spreading it out, meaning that you're going to get this uh, dip effect. And uh, you probably notice this when you cannon filters and stuff like that. You get this dip effect. Uh, pretty much uh, making the hammer and the sand clip away from each other or too much inside each other or something like that that's going to create this effect that you won't be able to fully stack it up or not even stack at all um, but that kind of looks like this so let's imagine that our hammer right here is the furthest away from the power meaning that that's going to dip very early it's of course not it's not going to dip one entire block at a time it's going to dip like maybe a trapdoor size and then it trapdoor size a little further. Uh, but this is pretty much what I can show you. So it's going to dip very early while the sand and the slap boss is still going in a straight line because it's closer to the power. 
uh, because it's getting more force, it's getting more velocity, it's not going to dip as early as the hammer. Uh, next up we have the sand, of course that ha that's a little bit, a lot closer to the power, but still not close enough. So it's going to dip a little bit before the hammer, or so the slap post. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the hammer dips first, then the sand, and then the slap post, meaning your slap post will be able to reach to the wall, while your sand and hammer might not, or your sand and slap post might reach, but your hammer won't. Uh, there's a bigger risk that your hammer won't really reach, because it's way further away from the power. And that's pretty much um, dipping, and, and, and power fusion kind of fixes this, because no matter what, everything is in the exact same block when it's getting fired out, meaning that the power, when the power dips, uh, so is, oops, so is the sand, that's going to dip first, uh, along with the hammers, it's going to dip at the exact same time, and so is the slap boss, it's going to dip at the exact same time, because everything right here is in, is in the exact same block, and position whenever it's getting fired out. It's not in the exact same position because I can get the sand way closer to the trapdoor than the hammer, uh, but you, you get the get the drill. So pretty much everything dips at the same time. So even if you're facing filters, you would um, you would be able to maybe say if you're dipping and your your top of the barrel is going to shoot on that one right there. Oh shit! Um, but it's dipping, uh, maybe half half a slap or maybe a slap. Uh, so, uh, as, um, so let's go. Ahead. If it dips that much, you know, or maybe a trapdoor even, then it's gonna get caught by this filter right here. And because it's getting caught by this filter right here, um, it won't work if it was a regular cannon, because uh, some of the some of it will make it to the next wall, some of it won't. So, um, what this parallel fusion does is that everything does at the exact same time, meaning. If anything dips, then the entire shot dips, meaning it will still work. It will still work 100% and it's going to stack and it's going to be lovely and you won't feel you have this very annoying uh, dip. But that's pretty much parallel fusion and uh, that's why I'm releasing it today because people have ask, been asking for it for a long time and people have um, been wondering when, um, when I'll add more power to my canvas, I guess. So uh, it's very important you understand that after 22 chunks you have to add a tick. But this is, this is pretty much the, the concept of parallel fusion. It's not really a big deal, but it really plays a big deal when you have to actually use it in a raid. Because whenever you use it in a raid, you might feel that your hammer is going to clip if you haven't added enough power. And I see this all the time. I see it all the time that people are going to complain, Dexter, your cannon doesn't work. And then when I try to help them, I can, I can clearly see that there's something wrong with the power. You need to have more power. You're shooting at a great distance. Um, but that is that is pretty much parallel fusion, and this is pretty much the the the, the build is going to be. It looks pretty compact. I really like it. Um, also, I I've seen people use the buttons in the middle instead, and that's that's pretty that's pretty good as well. I thought I would go ahead and try it out. Normally, I would have my button like right here, and then I would have redstone going um, going right here, not right here, but one more out. Um, and then go over to here, and then it's going to take it from there. Um, but this right here is pretty good as well. I kind of like it. Um, but this is pretty much the cannon, 156 power each side. And of course, it's going to shoot two individuals, so the sand slap boss and the hammer on scatter. Um, but that is, this is pretty much the power of fusion. This right here is a 60 stacker, so you can go ahead, you can test it out on different servers. Um, it should be working on all servers. I tested it on Psycho. Uh, it worked just fine on Psycho. Uh, of course, the sand comp is gonna fuck if you haven't uh, loaded your alts in on the sand comp, then it's gonna fuck up. But um, that that's what it is. So it should be working on all servers. Now uh, the sand compression. The sand compression. Um, I choose to do a single one because it's a sexy stacker. I might be able. To, I, I might change it to dual higher up in cannons. Because, but because it's a 60 stagger, we really don't need a dual sand compression for this. You can shoot maybe 8, 7 times with this, maybe 10 times if you put it all the way up. Uh, so a dual sand compression would be, wouldn't really be needed. Uh, so that's why I choose to do a single one. It also makes it a little bit more compact, uh, a lot more compact, so that, that's perfect. Um, of course we have an obsidian break on this one. Now um, we do have 5 dispensers, if somebody didn't. So five dispensers should be enough to go to Obby. 
so you should be good on that one. Just don't change any text right here. It's on the like max text right now. So if you change one tick on the hammer, like right there, and then on the other side as well, of course, right there, then you're gonna experience that your shot is going to dip. It doesn't really matter when it's cobble, but if it's obby, you're gonna clip and you won't be able to get through it, um, and it's just gonna be a disaster. So that's not gonna be fun. So just it's just very important you remember that. That's actually one of the bigger problems with the parallel fusion is that um, you can make this shoot very far. Uh, if you have many ticks on your hammer, you can be able to, to shoot 27 chunks with this one uh, with even less uh, power. But the shot is going to dip a little bit, and that's that's not really anything we want. So it's very important that you keep it on these ticks right here. Uh, unless there's no obsidian and um, the eye can see, then you'll probably be able to add one tick to it if you want to do that. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much the settings right now, 22 chunks. Then add one tick to the hammer. After 22 chunks, your cannon will dip one block um, if you're unlucky. So make sure just to try to see if you can keep it on this ticks. Um, that would probably be the best for one. Also, if we have a very, very long scatter right here, so we should have around 50, 52, 53 block scatter, which is um, which is decent. Not the first one right here, but the second one right there. So. I'm going to try to keep this scatter going up all the way. Of course, it is going to use a lot of TNT, but um, if you want to narrow it down a little bit, you can use the Obsidian Breaker if you really wanted to. But that is that is pretty much pretty much it. Oh, right here we have the Red Sand. And this Slap Boss is right here. So you can go ahead and... You, I'm left a space, so you can do like a repeater if you want to download hybrids or do something. So I left it right there. Um, but this is pretty much the 60 Parallel Fusion. Um, I do want to show you guys one shot on the first one right here, that's fine, we can do it there. Uh, so, go ahead and press the button, and while we do that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, remember to like this video here. Comment down below if you have any suggestions, questions, especially if you have a question about this cannon, or how to, to function, how to download hybrid, how to reverse, and stuff like that. If you want to know a little bit about that, just go ahead and put a comment. I'll maybe do it in the next release, um, but at least make a comment for, for if you have any questions at all. But as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for... Uh, watching this video and remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter and I'm out.